Well, that's interesting. The very first one that he made for me, uh, before the one in, in San Francisco, uh, we were on tour at the time, but before that he, he made an instrument for me. And it was good, but I, I, did, you know, I didn't feel that comfortable with it, and I was playing it. But uh, uh, I went revert her back to my old one, which was a um, Pratt and Perfected Boozy, made in 1861. And uh, uh, I was playing at one of the concerts, and Pat arrived, and he said, "You're not playing my flute." So I said, "Well, I said that's great, but but I I just started playing, and went back on my own flute, and, and uh, my old one, and and uh, it just sort of fell into place." And and uh, uh, I said, "You just have to make me, make me a better one." <laughs> and said, that was that was a, a, the gauntlet thrown down. So. The one that arrived in San Fran, that was the, uh, that was the one, yeah. And my son is actually playing the, the, the original one, and he's knocking sparks out of it. He's really got a really good tone, really good sound, the whole lot. It's fine, it's a, it's a brilliant flute. But it just suited him, you know. This one, this, this appeals to me, but if, for whatever reason, don't ask me. You'll have to ask Pat all of that. <laughs>